we're back with another ombre um, tutorial. I went ahead and set up for the next one. So I'm just gonna let y'all join on in. And then we'll get started. All right, there's a few of you. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. <laughs> We're doing the other one. Hey. <laughs> so this one is going to be the fine to medium mix like we just mentioned in the other one. If you didn't see it, we're going to be doing, this is Treasure Island, the medium mix. So it's got medium glitter as well as fine glitter. So there's that. And then we're obviously going to be using a Snow White again because it's the most perfect white ever. Give everyone a few minutes to join on in. And then we'll get going. Hello, people. All right, we're getting some people in here, so we're going to get ready to get going. Hello, Emily. <laughs> it tells me when you're watching. That's so funny. It's like Emily is watching. <laughs> Hello, Pamela or Tommy, you know, either one. <laughs> I just assume glitter is for girls, but I know that's 100% not true. Did we ever find out if Snow White is going to be available? Uh, no, I think Ruth and uh, Ashley and Eric, they're all setting up the website right now, so hopefully it's live very soon. Um, if she pops in, we can try to ask her, um, but I personally don't know. I didn't see her say anything, and she hasn't messaged me or anything, so I don't know. Hello, Sandy. All right, there's a good few of you, so we're going to... We're gonna get on going so I have that same epoxy from before it's just been sitting here so I'm just gonna give it a good little mix just to make sure it's not set up too much it is quite warm but it's still malleable and movable so it hasn't set too much it's getting close so we got to work quick um, so what I'm gonna do now I'm hoping it's up soon I keep checking is the new website up I haven't checked that yet. I've been doing this. I hope it is because, Ruth, I need to order some glitter. Ashley, I need glitter. All right, I just looked. It's not up yet. Um, and they're bringing out lots of goodies. If you guys have not been watching the page, uh, there's lots of new goodies coming. And I know a couple things are probably coming out today and then a couple things throughout the weeks. But, uh... Ah, it's so sticky. Yeah, this might be too thick to work with, y'all. So, we might just have to mix new epoxy. That's fine. New epoxy is always fine. So, we're actually going to start from scratch, make new epoxy. Pamela for sure. <laughs> hey, you never know. <laughs> I kind of assumed, but you never know. Um... So the other epoxy was too sticky. It happens. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just mix up some new epoxy. I'm going to wipe off some of these chunky bits that I had sitting here. So uh, what can I balance it on? Ah, this tumbler. All right. So if you are new here, hello. I use Promarine. Um, I use little medicine cups and Promarine. Uh, nothing fancy. I'm just gonna go ahead and measure that out. I'm gonna measure a little less since I am doing a tutorial. I'm working a lot slower than I normally do, which is fine. So I don't wanna be wasting too much epoxy because that stuff is not cheap. So I'm gonna probably do, let's see. I'm gonna try to do Five 
five milliliters of each. So I'm just gonna squeeze in the A. Hello, people. All right. So put in my A. Now I'm gonna just put in some B. All right. Grab a popsicle stick. I did actually just order some new stirring sticks, hopefully. I think I ordered it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I might not have. We'll find out if it shows up. But i um, just going to mix up some epoxy to get that on the cup. And since it is going under the glitter, it does not matter if there are bubbles or not. So don't worry too much about that since it won't be seen. Now your final coat, you want to stir a little slower, but uh, yeah, for the for this glitter coat, it doesn't really matter. Hi, Sarah. Ooh, Ohio, I've never been there. Hope your vacation's going good and you're feeling better. All right, so I've got my epoxy mixed up. Nice and good here, it is clear. I know it's hard to see because it's super bubbly, but it is clear, so uh, when you're first mixing, it's, it gets cloudy, so you wanna just mix it till it's clear. You're sitting there watching me. Ooh, no pressure. Sarah's tutorials are so good. Ha! Ah, nerve wracking, y'all. All right, so we're gonna get a glove and just apply it. All right, and if you guys looked at the title of this live, it does say Sunflower Cup. So this is actually an order that I needed to work on, and since I was doing ombres this week, I kind of figured it's kind of perfect. It's I'm not going to ombre this one too much. It's not going to be like a perfect, seamless transition, but it kind of is going to ombre a little bit. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Um, but this is one of those Sunflower Cups that you see. So, well, it's the goal at least. I actually have not done one of those yet, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but that is what we're making right here. So just applying the epoxy. If you hear a hound outside, that is not my dog. That is one of the neighbor's dogs that they just leave outside all day. So heartbreaking, but there's nothing we can do. Luckily, it's not raining right now. My little guy, Gunner, is sleeping right now. <laughs> He's taking his mid-afternoon, or it's actually almost 8 o'clock, evening nap. Okay, but we're just applying epoxy. Um... If you guys have not seen me apply epoxy before, I just apply using a gloved finger. I don't use any of the spatulas. I don't use, I don't even know anything else you could use to apply it. I just use my finger. Um, I feel it works the best because when you're applying the epoxy, you can feel where there's epoxy and where there is not. So where there is epoxy, it's nice and slippery. Um, and then when you hit a spot that doesn't have epoxy, it gets kind of rough, your finger starts sticking um, and so you know where there is and isn't epoxy so that way you know you're not applying too much or too little so that is what I do all right we're gonna just kind of focus on this bottom half now mother of pearl chunky what are you doing on this cup so rude <laughs> I just get glitter in all my cups. It's almost 8 here in Chicago. Yeah, my computer says 1955, so 7.55. Hi, baby boy. That's not yours. You can't eat that. Hi, sweet boy. 
I don't know if you guys can see him. Hello. You have to stay down, rude sir. This is not for you. No. No, don't lick the cup. You need to go on. You're being rude. You're being so rude. Oh, I know. Hello. I, I, you cannot lick the cup, dude. Can you go lay down? Can you go back to your nap? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see him at all. This is Gunner, though. <laughs> he decided to come visit. He's like, Mom, I want cheese. I guarantee that's what it is. Can you go take your nap? Can you go back to your nap, dude? Please. You were being good. <laughs> I told you at some point he was going to show up. If you guys watched the Find a Fine Ombre tutorial, I said at some point he was going to show up. Oh, you found your rope. Good boy. <laughs> He's a crazy pants. He's a sweet boy, though. <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Who are you talking about him? Probably. <laughs> he knows his name pretty well um, when he wants to. Otherwise, he's like, who's Gunner? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, there's that. So, we're going to let that turn for a minute. I'm going to kind of feel over the cup real quick. Make sure everything has epoxy. Just a thin, thin, thin layer. Um, yeah. Your pit bull has to have a piece of cheese every night at bedtime. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. We, um, he's eight months old or he's almost eight months old. He's a couple days away and we lock him up each night still. Um, uh, we don't trust him because he eats things he's not supposed to and yeah. So <laughs> we still lock him up at night. Uh, we have a large exercise pen for him. So he has plenty of room. He has his bed, his toys and everything. Um, and then also space to sleep on the ground. But, um... He, we lock him up, and whenever we put him in his in his pen, we uh, end up giving him a treat every time. All right, right now I'm kind of searching through. I'm going to let that turn for a second. I'm going to use that leftover glitter, and I'm just going to make a mold real quick. Ooh, we're going to use Excalibur Ultra Fine. So this is a silver hollow. So we're going to use that and make a mold. I'm going to make a Lego today. So you guys are getting a bonus tutorial. Yay! Um, I just don't want to waste too much epoxy since that other one did kind of start curing on me. Hi from Houston. Hi. I'm up in Fort Hood. So hello. We're just going to dump in all of that sample. Um, these are the samples that Fairy Tale sends. Um, I put them in these little jars just so I can keep track of them because having little bags everywhere drives me bonkers. So... I just put them in these little jars that I had. Um, I found these glitters at, I want to say it was Ross. Um, and I emptied out the mm, not so great glitter and put in my fairy tale samples. So I'm just mixing up the epoxy with Excalibur in it. So that's what that looks like. All right, and then, oh, got it on my finger. All right. And then I just kind of dump it into one of the molds. That's truly it, I don't do much. Um, these are just solid color molds. These aren't anything crazy. So I don't have to worry about anything extra. I just dump it in. And I like to make sure I get everything. So this is kind of how, you know how some people make like samples of their glitters? That's kind of what I'm doing. Um, but not, I don't make them just for, just to have samples. I like to send a little gift, whether it's just a magnet or if I can make it into a keychain. Um, I like to do that, so. I have a couple different molds that I like to do, and we're going with this one this time. So it's a little Lego, um, and then for my molds, I kind of just drop it a few times. You're close to me. Oh, cool. 
cool. I've never been there. Yeah, no, I'm from Georgia originally, but I'm married to a soldier in the Army, and we are currently stationed in Fort Hood, Texas. So, all right, I kind of just drop it to get the air bubbles to move to the top, so then I can hit it with a heat gun later. So, now to carefully move it out of the way. We're just going to put it on my laptop. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> I had the laptop up so I can see the comments. All right, so now that this is going, we're gonna go ahead and start applying the glitter. So, both of these sheets need to be cleaned off. Oh no, okay. So, I got Excalibur Epoxy on my Snow White. How rude. There's a good few of you in here. Hello everyone. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our Snow White. This is our white glitter, fairy tale glitter, of course. Um, like, it's the best white I've tried. I've tried, of course, different craft stores. I've tried like Walmart's, Hobby Lobby's, Michael's. They're okay, but they have like the shifts in them, like the pink and green shift. Um, I'm obviously not gonna name the other brand, but I got a white from this other company online. And when I got it, it was not sparkly, and it was clumpy. I, I, ugh. it was a good, it was white, but that's about all it had going for it. So when I found Fairy Tale Glitter, um, Snow White was not one of the first ones I ordered, but it was definitely in one of the first few orders, and I will never use another white again, unless, of course, it's like, another fairy tale because Ruth's whites are the only ones that have ever looked nice for my cups but I'm just applying I start at the top and I'm working my way down making sure to catch all of my spillage and I'm going down this is a 30 ounce Ozark so it has that lip um, I'm going down to the, 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 what's that called? Like the ledge, the crease, the lip, the, the middle. <laughs> Y'all see what I'm talking about. This, this bit right here. That's where I'm going to. Ashley, you said, is epoxy easier to work with than Mod Podge? So for ombre colors, I would say yes. Um, if you're doing a solid color, I think Mod Podge is perfect. But for me, ombreing is easier with epoxy because it doesn't dry nearly as fast. So it, it works for me the best. Um, I know Ashley did that Lisa Frank tutorial, which I watched and loved, by the way. Um, and she did it with Mod Podge. And it looked Fabulous. So it really is personal preference, but I found that ombreing is best for me with epoxy because I have more work time and it's easier to blend. So I just took this white down so then as I'm working, you can still actually stick more glitter up into this section, if that makes sense. Whereas Mod Podge, you would have to put more, um, but epoxy, you don't have to. Like, it, it still sticks. I mean, there's a limit, of course, of how much you can layer on. But overall, you're good. I just heard something move. <laughs> and my dog's sneezing. What are you doing? Hello. He is back, everybody. He wanted to come say hi again. Hello, sweet boy. Hi. What are you doing? Are you being naughty or are you being good? Emily, you're doing great, friend. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You'll have to come over for one of these lives one day, Emily. Uh, I hate Mod Podge. I use Epoxy Method for everything. I love Mod Podge for, like I said, solid glitter. It works well for me. Um, but when it comes to ombre, I hate Mod Podge. Um, hey, sweet boy. He just wanted some love. <laughs> Hello, sweet boy. I think you guys are just getting a butt shot right here. Hello, sweet boy. Are you good? Did you just need some love? 
Yeah, you're very distracting. Do you know that? There's lots of people watching Mommy right now. They want her to make things. <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> He's like, I don't care. <laughs> Focus on me. But yeah, Mod Podge and Epoxy, it really is personal preference. And I know that's not quite what you want to hear. Um, but I would recommend if you are new to tumblers or if you want to try one or the other, go to Hobby Lobby and or Michael's and buy the Illumilite. Hello, sweet boy. You gonna go lay down? Um, go buy the Illumilite bottles. They're, uh, uh, you can't get that. Um, the Illumilite bottles, it's like $25 for a decent sized bottle. Um, there's actually cheaper ones too that are like 15. Um, you can do that to get the epoxy to try it. That way you're not spending hundreds of dollars on epoxy. Um, are you licking the door? You're so weird. Um, and then at Mod Podge, they sell small bottles. I've actually seen Mod Podge at the dollar store before, at Dollar Tree. So you can actually go there to try it and see how it is. So Mod Podge versus epoxy, it's all personal preference. It really is. I like Mod Podge, but for ombre, 100%, I'm an epoxy girl. Always seem to see the lines with Mod Podge. Yes, that was a problem I was having at first. Um, I made my first glitter tumbler on almost a year ago, um, and I had to do several coats with Mod Podge because I was getting streaks. The thing I learned the best with is to use the right tool. Um, like Ashley mentioned in one of her lives was use a paintbrush. I don't have any around me because I'm in my Turner room, but uh, use a paintbrush instead of a sponge brush or silicone, use a paintbrush. It makes a world of difference. Um, for me, at least it has. So that would be my recommendation, but um, just do thick, super, super thick coats of Mod Podge because it does dry really fast. He said, okay, I'm just starting now, getting started with my epoxy tumbler journey. I just did Mod Podge Tumbler Sunday. How did you like it? Let us know because for solid colors, I do Mod Podge. Um, for, I don't know, I show this, I've shown this in every live. It, for this cup, I did Mod Podge because I was able to control the lines better. Um, so it really, it really depends. Um, I know this could probably be done with epoxy, but that would have been a pain in the butt to do. So I love Mod Podge and I love epoxy for different things though. Let's see. I know and I never need a second coat of glitter when I use epoxy. I could never get good coverage with Mod Podge. That is true. You sometimes do have to use more than one coat when it comes to... Oh, my puppy's got a potty, so I'm going to go let him out real quick. I'll be right back, y'all. mom so he he rang the bell that's how we trained him oh, excuse you you're supposed to be outside you my sweet boy are crazy you just want to go outside and play in the mud don't you crazy pants anyway so <laughs> um epoxy method you can get good coverage with one coat and that is why a lot of people do like epoxy method uh, use a Mod Podge brush. What's a Mod Podge brush? Do they sell like specific brushes? I've never seen that before. It's sold right next to it. Oh, <laughs> I should have kept reading. I've never actually seen that before. I just kind of go in and grab Mod Podge and leave. Um, or leave that aisle. Um, I did not know that. Oh my gosh, he's running around the backyard. <laughs> the window I'm sitting in front of <laughs> It, you can see the backyard, and he's just running in circles. He's about to dig a hole, I guarantee it. Um, he said, I still need to do epoxy, and I've never done it. I have an almost two-year-old, so, oh, yeah. So it's probably hard to find time to do epoxy. 
Um, I have a puppy who's very interested always. Um, so I would just recommend doing it in the garage, do it after they go to sleep, or if they're two, they're, they're probably still napping. Um, or they could be still napping, so if they, oh my god, what is he doing? I'm sorry, I'm just watching my dog out back. Um, do it while they're napping. That would be my best recommendation, or after they've gone to sleep. What has he found out there? I might have to go check on him in a minute, y'all. Um, I always do two coats of glitter when I Mod Podge, except for white with a white base coat. That's true. If you have the right base coat, that can really affect your cup. I just noticed a spot where I had some epoxy and the glitter in my white. So I'm just gonna hit that real quick. Um, and then we're gonna move on to There we go. I said I had missed a spot on the rim. Um, move on to the gold. Okay, uh, let me read the comments real fast. Uh, have you tried using the blue buy yet? The what, Emily? Have you tried using the blue buy yet? I don't know what that is, Emily. And yes, they sell specific brushes. I had no clue. Amazon has the brush too. Y'all know things, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be using Treasure Island Medium Mix. So like I said, it is a medium mix. So it has medium sized glitter and fine sized glitter. Um, and I'm just going to apply that to the tumbler. And this is how, if you guys have seen, uh, well, you probably haven't because I haven't posted it in the group, um, my Chick-fil-A cup um, because I'm using my old red glitter from another seller still. But um, I have a Chick-fil-A cup. This is the same method I do. Oh, my gosh, that dog is crazy. Oh, the blue dye yet? No, 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 I haven't yet, Emily. I Maybe I'll do that for a video. It's a resin dye, or it's an epoxy dye, and so you add the blue dye to your white tumbler. So like this white, you could, if it were all white, you would add the blue dye, and it would, um, hi baby boy, uh, you would, <laughs> y'all, okay, <laughs> Gunner just came in. What do you have, sweetie boy? Come here. That's not yours, sweetie. That's mommy's. He told you he's running around like a turd outside. Look, he, he had my husband's electrical tape. Love that. We love a husband who puts things away. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, you add this blue dye to your... Can you not kick my table, Gunner? Thank you. <laughs> um, you add this blue dye to your epoxy. He's just trying to knock everything over. I'm sorry, guys. Uh... You add this blue dye to your epoxy when you're making a white tumbler and it keeps it from yellowing over time because uh, epoxy can yellow over time. And so that's what it's supposed to do. If you guys are wondering what the blue dye is. Oh yeah, literally what Melissa just said. <laughs> uh, that is another thing with using Mod Podge. You can never sit there for that long without putting glitter on. Exactly, like I'm sitting here and I'm dilly-dallying, I'm watching my puppy, like, I'm not working fast right now. I've been doing this live for quite some time and yeah, definitely not working fast. Um, and that's the thing that I like about the ombre specifically with the Mod Podge method is you don't have to work fast because you, when you're ombre and you want it to blend so you want to be adding uh, little by little to make sure you blend it properly. So with Mod Podge, that is just not my, my jam. But yeah, the blue dye, I have not tried yet. Um, I haven't made an all white tumbler. So like I could add it to this one, the Salty, the salty Beach uh, tumbler. I could add it to that because I don't know. Maybe I'll do it on a, um, a test tumbler because I don't know how the blue would affect, like if I did it on this one, how it would affect the gold. Maybe I'll have to do a video on that or just test it out and share the pictures or something because I have it, I just haven't tried it yet. 
But I know that is not the end of the tutorial, guys. I promise. I'm just refilling my jar. I only have, I think, two ounces of this glitter. Um, so by flinging it onto the bottom of the cup, I have to dump it back in sooner. So that's all I'm doing. All right. So there is that. And I'm going to check on the pup because he got suspiciously quiet again. Oh, I can actually see him. He's in the backyard eating the tree. I kid y'all not. He is eating the tree. Yes, please do. Okay, do the do the video or the picture of the blue dye. I say maybe I'll add some different colors to a cup, just some random cup, or just plan to strip it, and I'll do like white, black, and then like maybe a rainbow, and then add a few colors like gold, silver, stuff like that, so that we can see how the blue dye would affect it. Because I know you add the tiniest, tiniest bit of blue dye, but does that affect the colors? That's what I don't know. So, but yeah, I can definitely do something with that. All right, so now I'm just going in with just the small hole because I do have larger shakers. Um, and I'm just gonna, once again, pull my cup away from, or pull my shaker away from the tumbler and just kind of sprinkle it on. Yes, both of the blue dyes. Yeah, I can definitely do that. And just kind of so we all know. Um, and how maybe we can do something with alcohol inks and micas. And just to see how it affects everything. So that is what this general cup is. So that's kind of how I do my medium. So if you can see this fine one back here, I try to blend it a little more. Of course, we did the light to dark cups. What is he eating out there? He's so crazy. Um, but you can see that I tried to blend it a little better. Whereas this one, I just kind of bring it up and then I slowly taper it. I'm not gonna go in and add white. Um, because I found when I did that with the, the red chunky mix that I mixed myself with other ones, it did not give the effect I wanted. You guys, my dog is literally chewing the tree outside. Do any of your dogs do that? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just go in with a little bit just to kind of taper it a little more. All right. All right, so there is that. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, y'all. So, that's basically how I blend my fine to fine, which I did the other tutorial for, and my fine to medium. Um, if I come up with an idea for fine to chunky, maybe I'll do that video at some point. But um, yeah, do you guys have any questions? I know there's a good few of you watching. Do you guys have any questions um, or anything or any comments, concerns, doubts, fears, traumas, heartaches, questions? <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then just a reminder, this is the Treasure Island Medium Mix. Um, yeah, and so this cup will end up with a, a sunflower on it. Um, I have one of my husband's co-worker's wife's uh, wants a sunflower tumbler. So I don't know, I think this one might be too orange. But I'm going to find a sunflower. I'm going to find a golden one, maybe like this one. And she wants it up here. And these are water slides. Um... I'll apply this, and then on the back side, she wants her name in gold. But yeah, so that is what this tumbler is. So that's why it says find a medium mix. Uh, 
and sunflower tutorial because that's ultimately kind of like these are kind of popular tumblers is with the sunflowers so that's honestly what I'm doing with this cup so yeah um thank you so much I've learned a lot today oh okay you're welcome <laughs> I always feel like I'm not helpful so I do appreciate that um do a water slide tutorial okay so like how to make the water slides or how to apply um because I can definitely do a how to apply um easy peasy I got you guys um because this one once this dries I will epoxy again well I'll spray sealer if it needs it and then I will epoxy again and then I will apply my sunflower and I think I'm gonna do this one because it's more golden so I think it'll look good with that treasure island but yeah so that's what that is both I can do both I can kind of walk y'all through it um I don't know if I could do a live recording of how to make them, but I can kind of maybe do a pictorial and post it in the group of how to make water slides, if that's something y'all can do, and then I can do the live of how to apply it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm going to try to do live videos on Mondays. Um, that's not always going to be the case, um, but I'm going to try to do at least once a week, so please let me know what you guys want to see because I don't want to do tutorials that y'all don't want to see, if that makes sense. I want to do what you guys want to see. So if you want to see ombre, I had a lot of people, um, Emily, like, she's like, hey, how do you do your ombres? Like, do a live. I'm like, okay, I will. So definitely let me know what you guys want to see or if I can't do it. I know Sarah's on vacation right now, but she'll be back soon and she'll do them or if neither of us have time to do them. I know Ruth and Ashley are going to be going back to it soon because um, Ashley's back from vacation. And so I know there's a few of us that are going to be doing tutorials. So definitely let us know what you want to see. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me go ahead and take y'all down so I can show you the cups real quick. So... Let's see if I can get it in there. I need to get a better tripod. I'm using my actual camera tripod, which is not meant for phones. Look how pretty Treasure Island is. And this is with my terrible military housing lighting. So you can only imagine. Um, when these are done, I will post pictures of them in the group. And just to show that's the fine one from earlier. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!